What's up guys, it is the gaming assassin here. Yes, I'm not little boy FIFA anymore, or little guy FIFA, or whatever it was. But now I'm the gaming assassin, you might wonder why I changed it. It's because I just don't wanna only do FIFA. I wanna do NBA like I'm doing here. And let's we're doing my GM. Um don't know who I'm gonna go with, I'll just pick my team, you guys already know by the title, but I don't know yet in my mind, like right now as I'm recording it, but yeah, these are the, the settings for it, um, we're gonna go with pro difficulty, cause I'm not good, I mean I'm good, but I don't like playing on all star or super star or hall of fame, because I just get smashed, um, don't like to play on, like, yeah, I play on hall of fame in my career, but I just find it too hard to play on in just a regular game. Um, quarter length is going to be 10 minutes. I won't play a lot of games, but if I do, I probably won't play the whole game. I might play half the game and then simulate the same cast the rest of it or something like that. Fantasy draft, none, because I don't want to do a draft. Um, no. Um, injuries on, yep. Yeah. Uh, use roster injuries off, because if I choose a team like Phoenix Suns, um, say Bledsoe, um, he wouldn't be fair because Bledsoe wasn't injured at the start of the season, he was only injured at the end, well, halfway through the season, so like that. <coughs> um, customize league off, just, I don't know why, just don't want to do it. Um, sim quarter, uh, actually I want to turn that on because if we relocate the teams, we'll have to shuffle it around and because if I'm on the east side and I move to the west side of my team, I've got to push someone down to the, the other side because you can't have like a, a west team playing on the east side and stuff like that. Sim quarter length is going to be 12 like the regular NBA. Custom roster off, I want to use the real roster that I use right now. And then these two off because I don't really care. Um, as you can see top right I am like poor VC, I absolutely love the uh, 40% off all attributes on NBA thing. I don't know really if that's right now. On the attributes of my career, but now we're choosing our team. So who should we be? I'm gonna have a flick through. Um, Boston might be one. I'm just gonna read them out to you while they come. Um, Lakers might be one. What else? Detroit might be one, Raptors might be one, and Spurs might be one. Alright, so I obviously, <laughs> I go for Golden State in real life, but they're too overpowered with Stephen Curry, Clay, and Draymond. Also with Iggy Dali, if I did do them, I'd sell. I'd trade to Harrison Barnes because I don't feel like he does enough as much as Iggy Dali. Iggy Dali is a beast. Um, oh, oops. So I'm gonna go probably. I want to go with the Spurs because of Timmy Duncan and stuff like that, but I don't have a really good team. Um, see, because the Spurs, they don't have a lot of capital either, so they won't be able to pick up someone good. I mean, if I went there, I would immediately trade Danny Green to the Philadelphia 76ers for nothing. Uh, for, for, like, no salary. And... But I don't know, Tim Duncan would be born because he would retire. Let's see his thoughts. Oh, he says that he wants to come back here. So, I don't know. But, I just don't know. I'm going to go with... Uh, I'm going to go with the Lakers. Because I feel like they have a lot of cap room. Um, if you move it some place, obviously Kobe's gone. And hopefully we can re-sign him for a cheaper contract than a 25 million. That's just too much. I'm going to be moving <laughs> Louisville straight away. I know that. But yeah, let's get straight into it. <coughs> my GM. Let's get into the Lakers, my GM. That's been gone for five minutes already. Alright. Let's go. Michael Jordan right there. Alright, let's go. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ryan. I'd like to discuss this opportunity to welcome you to the Los Angeles Lakers. Let's talk. Uh, let's, uh, let us talk about what I expect you to accomplish this season. Do whatever is necessary to nab us two lotto picks. Maybe not. 
I, I don't think I'm gonna do that. No, I don't think so. Wait, let's get some W's. We're not, no, we're, we're looking not that good this year. Wait, that's my line. So mm, yeah, what what you just said. Um, I don't really care. I'll just say real because then it'll make them more happy. As you can see, my was going up every time I click here, so I will do that. But let's load and let's get in the Ben Simmons draft class with the Brandon Ingram, Scal, Labissier, Jalen Brown, Marquis Chris. So let's see our team. It's alright. <laughs> I mean, it could be better. <laughs> oh, my mic just then stuffed up a bit. But, first of all, well, let's just see our player contract first. So, we, we will have a lot of cap room, but I want to move all these people who have excess room except for D'Angelo Russell. And if you weren't listening before, but my trade partner is going to be um, Philadelphia 76ers because they're just so easy to move with. Like, Lou Will or Hollis Thompson's, yeah, I'll surely do that. Like, I'm just giving away Catherine to them. Jeremy Grant for who needs to go. Nick Young to do that. Roy Hibbert for Isaiah Kanan. You're just making it too easy for me, aren't you? There we go. Then another one. Julius Randle got to go. Because I don't feel like he's contributed a lot this season. We'll pick up. Christian Wood and can they throw in a 2019 pick? Yes I can. It's as simple as that. And now since we're getting away players, Brendan Bass gotta go. We're freeing ourselves up for free agency. I don't care if we do crap this year. Robert Cub, will you come? Yeah. Sure. I'll throw in this, but have you got a team option or something? I'm not sure that I want Robert Cub. But we will take Brand. Um, another one who's got to go is Larry Nance Jr. What will you give us for Larry Nance Jr.? You really, you really haven't got a lot of <laughs> people. We have like nothing. Like they all have some sort of Kendall Marshall. Like. Alright, so now we've got to pick someone else like Steve Novak. Will you do this? Yes, I will. See, I don't care if we do bad this season. We're just going to try and simulate a few seasons as fast as we can. So, what does. Oh. Um. Ellis Thompson, gotta go. Jeremy Grant, I'm gonna keep because, no, nah, actually I might try and trade him. So they're both one years, but I just don't know. Should I keep them for the year? And then just, ah, I don't know if I should keep them or not. But all I know is Anthony Brown, you gotta go. Who are you gonna go? No, not really. I don't want to really know that. Wait, we've got our Lakers pick. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Because of the lottery, it gives you your pick back. And they only have their 2016 Sixers pick. I know before they had the whole lot like they had like the heat pick everything like that I don't know what I'm talking about Derek Rose you're meant to be in New York next year so that'll be fun to see him in there um will you give me Aaron Brooks for, for Anthony Brown I know it's a big ask Marcelo Huertes and this guy he has a team option sure I'll give you that so here we've got Aaron Brooks on the team Let's do this. Could be Brian Kelly. I don't really care about you. So let's 
this is our team. We are pretty trash. But you wait until free agency. We're gonna we're gonna be doing a lot. Um. Um. Yeah, I've already taken care of that. Yeah. That's what I thought. Now I'm just gonna have a look at the player contracts. One person staying. That is great. That's all I want. So I've got team options. That's given us flexibility, so we can just drop them from the team if we want. Ooh. That 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 feels nice to have all that luxury. Oh, and it had that much money at the end of the season. Whoa, we took a big loss. Ah, uh, Bill Baker's dynasty, why not? Gets everyone up except for the owner. Oh, no, he's always down on everything. So I was looking at the negatives. Come on. Uh, oh, yes, we won by a point. Yes, I, I, uh, I want to be bad because we have our pick. We might want to trade our pick. Oh, but for who? Like... Imagine you could trade that pick for like. Imagine you could trade a pick for like money or take that because we're gonna need it in free agency and like I don't want to get someone who's really good at the moment because I want to get someone like LeBron James, Andre Drummond, people like that in free agency. Uh, Kevin Durant also. Um, Isaiah Kanan has been injured. All right, let's just do this. Alright, let's stop our sim right here. Let's stop our sim right here. Alright, Kobe Bryant it's went up to an 80. D'Angelo Russell went up to 78. Stayed same, stayed same. Went up to 73, went up to 73, went up to 70. So there's some growth except for Isaiah Kanan because he's injured. So that's great. Woo. That's good. I'm back. Uh, we just. Play, uh, not played, we just simulated a couple games and now I'm going to show you our scouting, who we're going to scout. So, first, uh, Chris Duns, he rated first. I wouldn't say that, I'd say, I'd say that Brandon Ingram's first. Like, Ben Simmons is good but he has no shot. He can't shoot. Yeah, that's what, uh, I wish you could shoot when he was from Australia, Aussie. But he's from LSU's college. Um, I also love Jalen Brown. I'd love to bring him to the team if I could. But Buddy Hield, one person who's not in discussions, in top 20. Not even, not even top 10. In the real draft, he went like, oh, what was it like eight or something? Like that? I don't know, there was a couple of people. Yeah, I think he went 8 to the Norns Pelicans or something like that. Yeah, and we're just simming along. Um, I'm going to hold on to the pick and hopefully we can get like. Um, hopefully we can get like Brandon Wickham in the draft. I'm very satisfied, you have to say that. Because then all your people, all your staff are just going to hate you, so. That's that. Um. Patrick Mills, yeah. It's pretty much Patrick Mills for Meta World Peace, because I reckon that we're going to be good next year. But no, nah, I want to rise that chemistry. Because I can. And Byron Scott actually got fired. Did he get fired? I think he did. Or was he the coach that stepped in because I was fired? No, nah, I think that he got fired. Anyway. Let's hurry up. Oh, your assistant? No, uh, no, it doesn't concern me because he just why I hide him apparently and stuff like that. So I'll just say it to to not hurt his feelings. Three and ten, which isn't good, but it's good. It's not good because we're trying to like win the title, but it's good because we want to finish bad at the same time. Uh, it's the staff's fault. You just gotta say that, and then the players go up. Um, because if you say it's me, they get all mad at you and stuff like that. And like, oh, we should trade GMs or trade us. That's what the players say to you and stuff like that. 
Oh no, don't care about that. Please press is too easy. Don't care about that. Hey, we won again. Let's go up to Easy Street. I bet you this will be the media saying about this. Oh no, it's not. Let's see here, yeah, let's see it. Chris, I'm still number one. But Ben Simmons has climbed and Brandon Ingram has climbed. And there's a guy who I really like as well. Jamal Mares went down. Um, yeah, that's good. Don't really care, you choose. Alright. Oh, so let's hurry up and get through the season. This is only episode one, so don't worry guys, there'll be a lot more videos out if you guys like. Uh, Continue to like it, then I'll post more. Um, yeah, let's do nothing, don't really care about it. It's just practices or something like that. Um, feeling good about an old teen open brain, mm, that's good, but I don't really care because you're moving on next season. Oh, Derek Faison. Davis, but I'm not giving up Russell. Uh, I really like Andre Drummond in real life. He's one of my favourite players. But my favourite player is going to be Stephen Curry just because he's a beast and I go for Golden State Warriors. Um, let's just rebuild the rotation to suit how people are playing at the moment. Um, there's nothing really that I want to do yet. I will be doing some work off the camera like um what's it called like sending through games and playing some games and stuff like that but if anything comes up like a trade that i'm going to accept or trade that i propose or something that comes up then i'll start filming it's not that easy it's not that hard to start filming so i just start filming um but that's what i'm going to do in the, between this video and next video um Robert Sacre, oh my god, his celebrations on the bench, probably driving us to win a few games. Um, it's probably a reason because he was out. <laughs> um, <coughs> yeah, saving, saving, it's always saving. Most plays, most plays with starting lineup. You have to say starting lineup because it's just starting on. I would say you could say all because it's just like everyone does that. But then the reported trust will just go down so much. Alright, just win against the box or something like that. Then let it get to 10 losses. Because then they'll start a repetition. And it's got like www.fireleakersgymnomanager.com. And it says it's got like 5,000 like, uh, 5, <laughs> signatures and stuff like that. Um. I say come on. Yeah, win against oh we're not gonna win against the Rockets. Uh yep, so we've lost ten games in a row because there's no way that we're beating the Rockets. Did I just say ten games in the Rockets? I don't know. See ten straight losses, tough kill to swallow. <sighs> well um what kind of changes are you looking at? Nothing. Not looking at anything. Just looking forward to the off season. No. No. No, Kobe. No, Kobe. You can't do this. Oh. No, I was gonna sign you back. I can't even afford this. It's terrible. I'm just gonna thank you, man. For everything that you've done for the Lakers dynasty, it corresponds to this year exactly as well. So, that's that. <laughs> but no, with Kobe Bryant's days of as a player coming to an end, have you given any thought of bringing him to your coaching staff next year? That's the plan, because it's just what it is. I'm sorry, guys. It's just what it is. Kobe's coming. There's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Um, I reckon. <sighs> I'm gonna simulate the Simcast this game. Not Simcast Live, Simcast Live takes way too long. Against the Nuggets. The Denver Nuggets. Play with the Wizards. 
It's tight. It's very, very tight. And we're going to win it. Oh, yes. Now, hopefully, we lose a lot of games again. Right? Because if you go on a massive losing streak, then they try to fire you. But if you just win, you lose like three, then win, then lose like three. It's all right. And you end up with a terrible record and you still get the rest of the draft lottery. Good signs and stuff. Get good signs for draft lottery. lottery. <laughs> um. Jamie Clark's in the sun zone with him, I don't know, I didn't read it. Um, so, I reckon I'm going to go up to the all-star break in this video. And then I'm going to call it quits with this video, and then I'll get back to you guys next video. Um, obviously I've got to edit this first and put it up, and then I can get back and do all that. Um, Jordan Clarkson is now fully recovered. He's playing quad. Okay. So he can come back. Oh well. Alright, let's go. Saving, saving. Would you have seven more? Oh, there we go. Just, you know, just keep on saving. Yeah, no. Yeah. Alright, game against the Clippers. Don't really care about it because we're gonna lose anyway. Because we're the Lakers. Oh, we only lost by six, but that game we got blown out against the Grizzlies. Ooh, that was worse than the Clippers. And the Clippers are better. Well, in my opinion. That's two blowouts back to back. We're fine. Oh, my God. How come it puts everything down? Oh, my God. Oh, that's two big blowouts. And then we win against the Boston Celtics. We win against the 76ers. And then we lose. Oh, no, we won. Then we lose. We win this, oh my god. Can we do it? No. That's what I thought. Kings we lose. Okay, see we lose. Jazz we win. Oh, damn it. I'm trying to get my predictions right. <laughs> <coughs> Metal World Peace. Don't really care about him. Because he just sucks up a lot of, a lot of, um, what's the word? Salary. And he does nothing. Even though it's not that big of a salary, he still sucks it all up, but he doesn't have money to. Um, so yeah, it's always just sad. Should have turned. Uh, I should have gone to like, settings and turned the auto save off. But then when I like turn my PS4 off and play it when I, because <laughs> I, I I never say save on it and then like leave it. I just turn my PlayStation off because it's auto saves. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ugh, I couldn't count how many games are left before the All Star break. Um, do nothing. Do not care about it. Um, so yeah, comment down below if you want these videos to be long as well, or like just a 10 minute video, or do you want um, longer videos but they take a bit longer to come out, or. What would you like, or would you like medium videos? Would you ever consider trading Kobe Bryant? Not a chance, because he's in a no trade, uh, no trade clause. And wait, well, is he in a no trade? Yeah, he is. And he's um, retiring, so it's impossible for me to trade him, because every time, I, unless he gets angry at me, then it somehow glitches through, and then I can trade him. Because every time you try to trade him, it just says, "Oh no." They decide to blah blah blah. There's no trade clause and stuff. So Meta World Peace, like I said, doesn't bother me. Um. So yeah, this video is probably going to go for nearly up now. Um. Chicago Clippers. James Lloyd Russell is frustrated with the team's record. Hopefully you don't have to get traded. Because it's like three weeks. To Go. Come on. Just get through the season. Chemistry is like so low. Like, it should have been gone by now. But it's only at 64. Oh my god, what am I gonna do? Alright, um. Oh, we got a one. We, we got a one. We got a win. I don't know who it was against, but we, we, we did get a win. Come on, come on, just just load, just load already, I want to get this video finished before 30 minutes, 
because then it'll just take too long to render and stuff like that. Um, whoa, who was that injured? Christian Wood. Was he the starting lineup? I do not know. Let's go. Let's get a loss against Spurs, then lose, and then lose. Oh my god, when is this saving going to end? So we go, Christian Wood is back. That is, you know, terrific. Because he's such a big part of our team. Um, then he just is still high, which is good, because we're in Los Angeles. And, um, it's also the Clippers who are doing great, so that fans are pretty low. You know, sometimes people just go on the bandwagon in Los Angeles, and whoever's doing better, they go with. Um, <laughs> that's it for the Kobe era, sort of thing. Well, not the Kobe era, but like, Kobe. <laughs> that's it for Kobe. Um, come on, just, just two more games. Can we win? No, we, we can't because we've lost against the Cavs. There's no way that we're winning that. Um, <laughs> save. God. When is it going to stop saving? Yep, see, told you we lost. Jeremy Grant is unhappy with the team's record. And you know what? You're a rookie. Or you're still technically a rookie, so... I don't know when he was drafted, but he's still in his rookie contract, so, um, yeah, thank him, what, what did he even do, I don't know, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, whoa, we're 10 and 45, wow, alright, come on, just get through, come on, Alright, there we go. <sighs> well, that's it for me. Because it's been like 30 minutes in the video. Um, so, yeah, injury to our best player. It doesn't matter. Sorry about that little like, cutaway thing there. And, yep. <sighs> Robert Sacre. This video is about 30 minutes long and I'm going to end it now.